along with Ray Ferraro, my name is James Cebulski. Welcome to St. Louis, Missouri. Ray, listen to the energy in the arena here tonight. They know it's critical. The players know it's critical. What's the message here? Oh, there's really nothing that can't be said that isn't so obvious. Hey, series is tied. We got a chance to take the lead. Play our best game. Be as aggressive as you can. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Nurse is moving the puck through his own zone. Puck grabbed by Petrangelo. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. The Blues played along the wing. Comes up with the stop. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Edmonton's in now. Slides the puck down low. Grabbed along the boards by Gunnarsson. St. Louis gains control of the puck. Throws it in. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. St. Louis plays it along the wing. Too many bodies in the way. Edmonton's in transition. Quick feed to McDavid. And he comes up with a big time save on that. Big stop by the keeper. Denies him. High quality chance, high quality save. Here's an odd man rush. From the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. O'Reilly's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Bowmeister. St. Louis has it against the half wall. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Here's the official call. The Oilers are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. Always a little careless to get a tripping penalty. You get your stick into the player's feet, and when he goes down, you're going to go to the box. The Blues get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Well, James, statistically, we know that you score the first goal of the game, you're going to win well over 55% of the time. So that first goal is critical. Now you've got a great chance because you're on the power play. Bozak's got it to the side. Moves it to O'Reilly. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. Edmonton's got it now. Nugent Hopkins is on the attack. Takes the feed. St. Louis has it near the wall. O'Reilly's got it across the line. Let's it go. Makes the save. Picked up along the boards by O'Reilly. Another stop by the goaltender. Really good stop. After he made the first one, he's got to find the puck, and he's in position again. Puts it on net, and he comes up with it. Away from harm's way. That's a good save. Neal's back out onto the ice as we are back to even strength here. Really aggressive work by the penalty killers. They shut that power play down without any danger. Moves it quickly over to Neal. Takes it across the blue line. Here's the pass. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. They've got the defense outnumbered. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. Russell's got it in the defensive end. Moves the puck behind the net. Quick pass to Kluffbaum. Sends the pass over. Right in the slot. And that carries off a stick. Falk's got it into offensive territory. Skates in behind the cage. Puts it on goal with the stop. Underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Textbook stop by Koskinen.
And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Puts it on net. Big time stop there. Puck scooped up by McDavid. Cassian's got the puck along the wing. Along the half wall with the puck. Takes the pass. Turns it away on the slap shot. Pareko's got the puck through the neutral zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Tarasenko's got it against the boards. Hammers it on net. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Caves won a big draw on their own end. Fair's got the puck now in his own end. With some open space here in the neutral zone. Dumps it into the O-zone. St. Louis has possession of it now. Back to the blue line. That goes off a twig. And now it's grabbed by Nurse. Oh, and he completely blew it on that miss. Yeah, you got to get it on the net, James. You've got an opportunity to score, and you don't even test the goalie. Move to the middle. Puck picked up by Sundquist. Gaining momentum up along the side. And he slides it quickly to Steen. Let's it fly. He scores! On the rebound, lights the left for the goal. Follow through to the net. He picks up this rebound, makes no mistake. Once the goalie leaves the puck in front of the net, the goalie's at your mercy, and he does not miss. You got a foot on top of them now. The coach is talking about step on them. Make the lead bigger. Tries to get the puck over to Haas. Quick shot. Blocked in front. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Steen. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. St. Louis has been the better team offensively. More shots and as a result, more goals. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Tipped in front, locks it, he scores! What a goal! Two goals in 50 seconds. So quickly on the board. Conversely, deflating for the other team. And that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. St. Louis now up by two here in the first. What are you seeing from them, Ray? They've been the better team, but right now it's don't step back here. You're up by a couple. Make it three. Make the game as over as quick as you can. Nice pass. Sanford's going to play it against the half wall. And he slides it quickly to Petrangelo. And that misses. He gets everything on this shot. He doesn't miss by much, but it's up over top of the net. And he comes up with it. Gunnarsson's taking it from his own end. Tries to get the puck to Sanford. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. With possession along the wall. Slides the puck over. Takes the feet at the back end. Steps in front of the shot. Carries it across the line. Shot on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Rings the iron. Taken by Sanford. Here's a blast. Shuts him down. Puck grabbed by Neal. He carries the puck up along the wing. Back to the point it goes. Here's a short pass to Neal. Nugent Hopkins is hauled down. The official's arm is up. Here comes the call. Pretty cut and dry trip on that play. Coaches will tell you, be careful with your stick, but you're trying to get the puck. Yeah. I don't think a lot of times they do it intentionally. First chance of the night here on the man advantage. 
They've worked on the power play a lot in practice over the last couple of days. This is their first one tonight, and they'll want to execute what they've worked on, which is to win the draw and start moving the puck. Standing tall with the save! Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. Move to the middle! Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Shot! Oh, he misses the net! Not by much, but I guess it really doesn't matter, right? If it's not on net, it can't go in. Fair point. Russell's got the puck. Puts it on net. Gets in front of it. St. Louis will try to break out here shorthanded. Slides it quickly to Steen. Carries it in. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. One last rush here on this power play. And the puck's back on his blade here at center. The Oilers come up empty-handed on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. Comes up with the stop. Well, no go on that power play. They were able to move the puck around, and I guess at times it looked dangerous, but... Oh, there's... He scores! That's three rings! Yeah, just they haven't taken their foot off the gas pedal at all here. Once they got that first one, they kept pushing it away. Now they've got three. Now coaches talk about getting to the front of the net, make it difficult on the goalie, take his eyes away. And he only can see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. probably doesn't want this first period to end given the way they played offensively. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Scored by number 55. On the attack along the boards. By number 70, Here's a shot and he misses. That's a good scoring opportunity. He doesn't capitalize on a great A chance. Dumps it in. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Here's a shot with the stop. Here they come on the attack. Here's a chance. Denied by the goaltender. St. Louis has had more scoring opportunities and as a result, more goals late in this first period. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Let's it go! It's in! He scores! Off the skate and into the net! Oh, uh, great bounce offensively. Tough one for the defender as it goes off his foot. It's even worse because that looks like it hurts, too. It's got to be so frustrating for the goalie. He's in the right spot. He thinks he's going to stop the puck. Then it hits his defenseman in the skate and ends up in the net. St. Louis will likely take this lead into the first intermission unless things completely bottom out here. Shen's won it. Puck scooped up by Petrangelo. Moves along the boards with some purpose. And they'll dump it in. Takes the puck along the boards. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Petrangelo. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. And now it's grabbed by Cassian. Just line. Take it along the wall by Dreisaitl. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. And makes the save. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Intercepts the pass. Takes the feed. Slides it back to the blue line. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Petrangelo's playing it along the line. Petrangelo's taking the puck behind the net. Denies him in front. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Dreisaitl's got it on the offensive end. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Now a quick pass to Bozak. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. In the first period. Puck picked up by Cave. Moves it to Kara. Log jam in front. That's broken up. 
Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Moves it to Kara. Great pressure forcing the turnover. Fabry's got it along the wing. Puts it to the front of the net. Takes that pass back at the point. Puts it just wide of the net. He didn't have much room. He's making the attempt for a perfect shot there. Hammers it from the point. And there's the horn to end the period. They threw everything but the kitchen sink. But they've run out of time. Are you ready for your walk down memory lane? Then join us for our fantasy camp. Play hockey with your childhood heroes in the fun filled week full of memories. And you can call us right now for details. And as both teams head to their respective rooms, two more periods still to come. We're looking forward to it here on EA Sports. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. St. Louis leads in a tight, high-scoring game. They've had a majority of shots on goal here. They're going to have to keep pushing the pedal down. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Oilers have it against the wall. Here's a shot, and there's a save. Slides it diagonally to Dreisaitl. Moves it around along the half wall. Centering pass, and the shot dies in the traffic jam. Scooped up along the wall by McDavid. Taken by Schwartz. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Shoots it, denied by the goaltender. Moves it quickly over to Tarasenko. Great reflexes, another save. a good save when we get a second look at this you see how quickly the shooter delivers the puck to the net st louis continues to lead here early in the second getting lots of shots on goal to this point nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone quick pass to gunnarsson unloads from the blue line misses wide nobody's going to be able to block that unless they're way off target like his shot was Oh, stick craters on him. So disappointing. There's $300 he won't get back. He's not paying anyway. Along the half wall with the puck. And makes the save. <laughs> St. Louis has found a way to get a lot of pucks on net. And they continue to lead in the second. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Cliff Bomb's got it in the offensive zone. The Blues have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Quick feed to play. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. Makes the save! Over the line they come. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Tries to get it over to O'Reilly. Let's it go. Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. Hit the net. No chance to score. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. Pretty cut and dry with a tripping call here. Yeah, but James, every player argues the tripping call because you feel like your stick was in the right place and the other guy stepped on it. Never your fault. And it looked like there was some late moment lobbying there that didn't yeah, work. It doesn't work. No, though. none. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. It doesn't matter whether you've had one or ten power plays. The fundamentals of it are the same. Win the draw, get the puck to the point, try and spread the penalty killers out. Why? Picked up along the wall by Falk. Let's it go, and that one's stopped. Edmonton's got the puck shorthanded. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. And it's a quick pass to Dreisaitl. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Grabbed along the board by Schwartz. Feeds the puck across to Fabry. Moves the puck along the half wall. Let's the wrister fly. Stones him in front. Picked up along the boards by Shen. Tees it up from the blue line. And that's wide of the net. Probably better.
better off to take a little off the shot and get it on target. He's nowhere near the net. Granlin's carrying it ahead. Shot, and that one's turned away. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Penalty has expired. You've got to give the shorthanded unit a lot of credit there. Oh, man, what a good power play, but it doesn't change the big numbers up on the score clock. Couldn't score, but all kinds of chances. St. Louis continues to lead here in the second period, doing a nice job of getting pucks on net, and as a result, they built up this lead. Perron's got it against the boards. Shot! Stones up with the blocker! Bears lugging the puck. Here's a shot! Comes up with the stop. Slides the puck ahead to Perron. Perron swooping in on the attack. Trying to get the puck out of the zone. Taken along the wall by Nurse. Point to point pass. Right to the middle. Wrist shot from the slot. Makes the save. Dead center. Excellent save. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Been a pretty good offensive display, at least for one side. 3 1 is where we sit. Puck grabbed by Bo Easter. Edmonton's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And he comes up with it. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Puck scooped up by Barbashev. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Put the backhand in front. Gives them nothing in front. Yeah, he makes a nice save here with the glove, as you mentioned. But he's able to hang on to it. That's a tough save from this position on the ice. St. Louis has looked good offensively tonight, putting a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Scoops up the puck now. Here's a short pass to Cave. Dumps it in. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Beatington's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Well, you got to kill the play eventually. That way, everyone can get reorganized. St. Louis was preaching pucks on net at the morning skate earlier today, and they've executed that game plan, which is why they lead here in the second. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Stick save! And now it's grabbed by Russell. Big play inside the defensive zone. Tarasenko's got it across the line. With possession along the wall. Puck lands back onto a stick. And that's broken up. Puck picked up by Kara. Moves it to Russell. Taken by Russell. St. Louis gains a hold of it. Puck grabbed by Pareko. Puck scooped up by Pareko. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And it's in! He scores! Gets his own rebound and makes it count! Quick shot on the first attempt, but that rebound came right back to him. And he's able to settle it and put it into the net before anyone else can stop him. of performance that you'd be happy with at the end of the game here. This has been like a practice for them. Everything that they have done has been successful so far. Vladimir Tarasenko, assisted by number 55. Heads to the back of the net. Shoots it, and he makes the save. Time of the goal. Ten minutes, two seconds. St. Louis up big here in this second period. Their offense has been going right from the start. McDavid's won the draw. And now it's grabbed by Russell. He scores! Now it's only a two-goal game. Also, it gets progressively better for them, but they need another one. They got to throw a quick back-to-back -back goal up here. You don't get many goals like this. Face-off win, direct shot, and into the net. themselves something that everybody in sports longs for hope here Ray 
Hope? A chance? Hey, it's here. Something. Time isn't the enemy yet. Dunn stick handling in his own zone. Bozak's going to play it against the half wall. Bozak's got the puck. Here's a shot. Quick snap. Turns it away. And another stop. He's right on it. Two consecutive saves. Tough ones at that. Moves it quickly over to Bozak. Here's a shot with the stop. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves the puck up to Nugent Hopkins. Moves the puck. Here they are on the attack. And now he tries to get it across to Russell. And comes off empty. Now he's going to have to adjust the sights on that one. That thing's off target by a long way. They've got numbers on the attack along the boards. From in close. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Nugent Hopkins brings it in. Handles the puck at the point. Moves it around along the half wall. Sends a pass over. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Along the half wall with the puck. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. The Blues have it in the offensive end. Stopped by the goaltender. continues to lead here in the second period doing a nice job of getting pucks on net and as a result they built up this lead. Shen's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone Gunnarsson's got it along the wing. Flips it at the net stopped by the goaltender he's working hard to find this puck there's all kinds of traffic in front of him and he gets to it before the puck gets to him. Quick pass to Haas off target St. Louis has possession of it now Takes it across the blue line. Quick feed to Gunnarsson. Feeds it down low. Into the corner now. Right in the slot. And here's a shot. Gets in front of it. Here's an opportunity in front of the net. Maintains possession of the puck along the blue line. Blast from the point. Fearless. Totally fearless on the block. You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. Here's a howitzer at the net. Oh, what a stop. Edmonton's looking to break out. Centering pass. Here's a shot. Comes up with the stop. St. Louis has turned good defense into offense. Plenty of scoring opportunities, and they lead here late in the second. Barbashev's won it in their own end. Here's a short pass to Sundqvist. Lacks it into the offensive zone. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Great heads-up play by the defender. Kara's got it into offensive territory. Let's it fly. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and buries it! to the net. That's where the goals are. The rebound sits there and he puts it away. Edmonton's got one back late in the second. How does that change things now, Ray? From their bench, it seems like they're pretty excited. They jumped up. They're loud. They're ready to go as they try to find the equalizer. Scored by number 12, Colby Kane. Sends it in on the attack. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Patrick Russell, time of the goal. Carries it across the line. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And they get it out of the zone. And where are they headed to, Ray? Uh, time for a change. Everyone needs a little break here. They look a little tired. They get it out of the zone. And they can get some fresh troops on the ice. Carries the puck up through center. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, and it goes just wide. Just wide, way wide. It doesn't matter. It's not on the net. He's got to get that at the goalie.
Getting into the later stages of this period, the Oilers make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. Takes the feed up ahead. Here's a chance. Quick shot. Makes a save. Cool and calm under pressure. The Blues have generated plenty of quality scoring chances and a big reason why they lead late in the second period. Nugent Hopkins has won the draw. Moves it to Neal. Off the glove. St. Louis continues to lead here in the late stages of period number two. They have been the more complete team offensively. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Carries it in. Takes a shot. Denies him on the play. Bears got the puck in his own zone. Now he takes it over the line. Hammers it on net. Big time save on a big time shot. St. Louis putting in a pretty complete effort to this point as they lead it here late in the second. O'Reilly's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Just wide. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Great read to break up the play. Here they come on the attack. Musa quickly over to play. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Receives the pass. Puts the puck on net with the stop. St. Louis has turned good defense into offense. Plenty of scoring opportunities, and they lead here late in the second. Caves won the draw here in the offensive zone. Denied by the goaltender. And that's all she wrote on period number two in this one. 4-3 is where things stand after 40 minutes of play. Man, your donations have made it possible for kids in need to see their heroes live from our tickets for Camp Luxury Month. Thank you for your generosity. Third period just around the corner. Ray and I will be ready to bring all the action in moments. just moments away from the start of the third period. Well, let's see what this third period can offer at what has been a score fest thus far. 40 minutes into this one here, Razor, how do you see things? St. Louis has found chances all over the ice. It's a wide open thing so far tonight. They got the lead. They can't stop now. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. It's been a fun one here tonight. 4-3 hockey game. Takes control of the puck. Up along the wing. Dreisaitl's got it in the offensive end. Puts it on net and makes the save. With possession along the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Dreisaitl. Centering pass. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Gunnarsson's got it in the offensive zone. Move to the middle, and a stick in the lane ends that threat. Puts it on goal. Oh, just wide. No, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. St. Louis has it in the offensive end, and there's the save. Scoops up the puck in front of the net, trying to clear the zone. And we'll get a stoppage on the ice here. Now the puck sails down to the far end of the ice. So go back to the defensive zone and try it again. The Blues lead this one early in the third period. They have been the more aggressive team offensively with the lead in the shot department.
And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Hammers one from the point. Denied by the goaltender. St. Louis has been the more complete team tonight, and they lead it early in this third period. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Over the line they come. And now he moves it to Nugent Hopkins and makes the save. St. Louis wanted to create more offense coming into this one, and they've done just that, leading early in the third. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that one's stopped. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Takes a shot. And that one's turned away. I thought he had it, but they're, they're saying it's a goal now. That's in the net. I always have zero sympathy for the goalie. That's a tough break. Bad break for him, you bet. But the puck goes into the net after somehow it's funneled that way and it bounces around into the cage. St. Louis keeps up that momentum from the second period here into the third. They didn't miss a beat. That 18-minute intermission did not slow them down at all. Now a two-goal lead as you enter into the final three quarters of this period. Bogey's just got it against the boards. Tees it up from the back end. Big time stop there. That's a good save. He had to struggle to find the puck to force the bodies in front of him. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Still plenty of time left in this frame. St. Louis seems to be looking for more after increasing their lead to two goals. Puck picked up by Clefbaum. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Here's a shot. Comes up with a stop. The Blues have put a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead it early in this third period. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Bomeister's got it in the defensive end. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Denied him on that last chance. St. Louis continues to lead early in this third period. They also have a decided edge in the shot department. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Edmonton's got possession here in the offensive zone. Rips it and a great save. That's not even a rebound anymore. It's like a cleared puck. Off the goalie and into the corner is a safe place. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. St. Louis has been the more complete team tonight, and they lead it early in this third period. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Taken by Bozak. St. Louis gains control of the puck. Shuts him down. Puck grabbed by Clefbaum. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Manages to hang on. On the backhand. Stopped by the goaltender. Save made by the goalie. Smothered that in close chance. Still lots of time left here in this frame. While fans being treated to some offensive fireworks, it's a 5-3 game. Puck scooped up by Bomeister. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. Fabry's carrying it ahead. There's a Whoa. shot. He scores! They didn't sit back after getting that first one. They pile the back-to-back goal on here. Oftentimes, the goalie will drop in the butterfly, take the chance that he's got everything covered. Not so here. This is up over the glove. It's a beautiful shot. The Blues have really been strutting their offensive prowess. You've been impressed tonight? I really have. They can put it on cruise control now. A large lead here in the third period. 
Feeds it to McDavid. Handles the puck. Puts it on net. Makes the save. Right on the doorstep. Rips it. Big save by the goaltender once again. Quick work. He makes one and two saves in a row. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Lays out to block the shot. Penalty coming up as the whistle stops the play. Clip bomb's been nabbed for tripping. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve his minor penalty. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. Sometimes you have to have the shortest of memories when you play on a specialty unit like the power play. It hasn't gone very well for them so far tonight. They have to attack this power play with a renewed vigor. Fires it on net. Blocked in traffic. And now it's grabbed by Bozak. Winds up, lets it go. Denies him with a save. Tosses it on to Granlin. Quick pass to Russell. Pass back to the point. Big time stop. Scooped up along the wall by Nurse. Drives it to the front of the net. Gets control of the puck right in front of his own end. Picked up along the wall by Granlin. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Falk swooping in on the attack. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. St. Louis has been impressive to watch tonight. Numerous scoring opportunities, and they have converted on most of them. Face-off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. They're able to wind the clock down a little bit here. They don't score on that power play. I don't know that it's particularly important. They don't want to give up anything because they've got such a large lead. They want to run this in on cruise control. St. Louis came in hungry for this one, and their offense has exploded to lead here in the third. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Takes the feed. Takes it across the blue line. Skates in behind the cage. Couldn't light the lamp on that. What a chance. Sometimes the puck just doesn't go where you want to finish it. He makes a good shot, but he can't capitalize. And he slides it quickly to Clefbaum. That's using the body on the block. They've totally controlled the puck here on this ship. Now, scores! Well, now they're only down by a couple. I guess it gives them a chance, but they've got to score again quick. Well, that screen looked like it was just about perfect, didn't it? He doesn't even react as this puck goes by him. Edmonton's narrowed the gap here in the third, but still a long way to go, Red. Yeah, James, this is still way down the road to even this game up. But if you get one, maybe you get another. Maybe they get nervous. Quick feed to Bo Meester. On the attack along the boards. Hammers one. Blocked in traffic. Carries it across the line. Sends the pass over. Big save. St. Louis has it near the wall. Pareko's going to play it against the half wall. Can't get it to go. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Moves it around along the half wall. And he comes up with it. Puck picked up by Bo Easter. Works it across to Schwartz. Schwartz gains the zone. Takes a shot. And he makes the save. Grabbed along the boards by Kleppbaum. Here's a short pass to Russell. And we'll get a fresh set of legs for the defensive pairing as the puck is sent into the offensive zone. Moves with the puck at the corner. A rocker off the blocker. The Blues have it against the wall. Taken by Bo Meester. Schwartz moves it ahead. Into the offensive end now. Back at the point, they set it up. Hammers the shot. That goes wide. Not really close with that. He got lots on it, but nowhere near the net. 
Carries it in. Snaps it on net. Oh, and it goes off the stick. Sharp reaction save. Everybody likes to think of themselves as a little bit of a clutch performer. If you score at this time of the year, you are that. St. Louis holds a noticeable edge in the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. Petrangelo's taking it from his own end. Into the offensive zone. Takes a shot with the stop. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Quick pass over to Petrangelo. Handles it along the blue line. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. McDavid's won it off the face-off. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Moves it to Fabry. Along the half wall with the puck. And now he angles it across to Gunnarsson. Unable to reach that one. Puck grabbed by Petrangelo. Petrangelo's moving the puck through his own zone. Edmonton's got the puck here in the open ice. Moves the puck behind the net. Puts it on net. St. Louis takes possession of the puck. Blocker save, and he's showing up big time tonight. Dreisaitl's got the puck. Here's a chance. Fires the wrist shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Puts it up front. Shot over the net. The Oilers can't make up the difference here. They're trailing, yet they've had way more scoring chances than their opponents. They can't finish. And the stick, his best friend on that save right there. The Oilers get a hold of it. Quick feed to Nurse. Takes a shot. Comes up with the blocker save. In close. Denies him again. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Perron's got it across the line. Takes a shot. Oh, puts it wide. Picked up along the boards by Petrangelo. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Oh, what a stop. Puck scooped up by Neal. Moves the puck along the half wall. Sends it down low. McDavid's going to play into the corner. Here's a blast. Just wide of the net. Edmonton's frustration is starting to boil over here. Late in the third period, they know they're behind because they've missed too many scoring chances. Taken along the wall by Neal. Takes a shot, and that banks off a stick. There's another stop. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Tarasenko's taking the puck behind the net. It's in the net! Sorry, James, jumped on you there. You can see this one coming. What a great move by the shooter to get around the back of the net. A quick flick of the wrist, and that snapshot beats the goaltender. He's in the low slot. He doesn't have much time to think about it. Is this their best performance we've seen this year? Offensively, it's as good as any other night that they've had. Domination in the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Dunn. Dunn's got it into offensive territory. Moves it quickly over to Fabry. Gets a piece of it with the blocker. Wait, wait, no, it's in. It's in the net. It's in the net. Well, you don't see that every day. He turns around to clear the puck. And he rifles it past his own goaltender. Whoops. St. Louis has been on fire, and they continue to keep the goal-scoring onslaught on here in the third. I think that's the most important thing, James, is they just haven't taken their foot off the pedal. You've got them down. Time to put it away. Slides the puck across to Bozak. Quick pass to Sanford. Gets in front of it. Sanford's got it deep in the offensive end. Falk's walking the line. Puck picked up by Bozak. Bozak's got it in the corner. Fires one on goal. Makes the save as he got a blocker on it. Gets the puck back onto a stick. Fantastic save! 
Koskinen so sharp on this. Reads the play, reads the puck, makes the save. Shot tipped, and somehow he got a piece of that one. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Quick feed to Neal. Here's a shot, comes up with the stop. The Blues are going to want to bring this big lead home late in the third. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And that's blocked. Here they come on the attack. Here's a short pass to Steen with the stop. Scooped up along the wall by Dunn. Steps up with the block. And that'll close the book on this one as the final horn sounds. And with that win, they push them to the brink of elimination. This is such a critical game in a series. So pivotal. You get up three games to two. Now you got a couple of cracks to put this away. And you know your opponents are going to be feeling the pressure now. Great playoff action tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We'll talk to you next time where the fun will continue.